country and welcome to this very special live episode of Palmetto Life. I'm Reagan Ranzer. Today we are bringing you a behind the scenes look of a low country tradition spanning in nearly 20 years, the Charleston Wine and Food Festival. The five day festival celebrates and showcases the city's award winning food and beverage community through great food, fresh ingredients and amazing wines, beers and cocktails. Last year, the festival brought in more than $32 million to the greater Charleston economy. Our host, Emily Zuhowski, is out at Riverfront Park right now where the gates for the iconic culinary village will be opening in just a few hours. So Emily, how is it looking out there? Reagan, I could not be more excited to be out here live at Riverfront Park in North Charleston. We're almost just a few hours away from kicking off the 2024 Culinary Village at the Charleston Wine and Food Festival. And I'm here with Alyssa Maddie Smith, the Executive Director of Charleston Wine and Food. Alyssa, you've been so busy, but you're here with us this morning. How does it feel? We're just a few hours away. It's awesome. Thank you so much for having me. Um, love coming on the show. And we are channeling a BOS mentality of bring your own sunshine yes. with our, uh, with our yellow see this? outfits here. Not planned, by the way. So, yeah, <laughs> we're excited. It looks great out here. We're going to have great weather today. And um, people are, people are going to have a good time. I'm so excited for this. First of all, we're sitting right outside of our live five tent you can catch us right across from the um the music stage all weekend we're partnering up with local vendors today we have rusty bull brewing out here tomorrow we'll have l and l hawaiian and on sunday we have pizza mano mio from our neighbors in west ashley and there is so much that the festival has to offer. Tell me everything that we're going to see out at the Culinary Village this year. Oh, we're so excited. We've got some new stuff coming back. So we are bringing back our rosé garden. Mm -hmm. So it will be rosé all day vibes out yes. here in Culinary Village. It's beautiful, Village. by the way. Yes, yeah. it is beautiful. Um, we have our silent disco, which I, I like to say is the absolute best people watching in all of Charleston. Yes. So grab yourself a little glass of rosé yep. and at, post up over there. Um, our main demo stage will kick things off today at 1 p.m. there with Mayor Burgess of the City of North Charleston. Mm -hmm. So he and I are going to officially open the stage at 1. And then our first act is Tiffany Amber Thiessen, wow. um, a.k.a. Kelly Kapowski. For wow. those of you who are Saved by the Bell fans. And she's going to take the stage um, for her with her cookbook that she has. And after that, people can meet her, get their cookbook signed, and ha take some pictures. Um, following her, we've got Amanda Freitag and Mike Lotta of Fig in the Ordinary. And we'll close things out on our demo stage today with Shwai of Jackrabbit Philly and King Barbecue, as well as wow. uh, Miriam from Mom Sob um, and Malika Chai Canteen. So awesome demos on the stage, really fun music. We've got mm -hmm. an Outcast tribute band today, wow. um, the Psychedelics. Um, DJ Natty Heavy is going to open us up. So. Mm -hmm. Between the music and the demos and everything in between, I, I'm so excited for people to get out here. Yeah, something new this year is the non-alcoholic space that you guys have. Yeah, Talk so about we that. have an entire um, zero proof garden. Yeah. And this is in partnership with Sachet mm -hmm. and Southern Flavor Magazine. And we're really excited to showcase that so people mm -hmm. can see some, get some cocktails, some non-alcoholic beverages like mm -hmm. beers and wines. Um, and it's just, it's a definitely a movement that's been in the industry for the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. um, and for those who are either sober or sober curious, or you just want to break from maybe some mm -hmm. of the wine and spirits we have out here, there's still some delicious things for mm -hmm. you to drink. Alyssa, I've been out here, this is my third year here at the Culinary Village. Every time you walk in here, there's so much going on. I want to know, how do you experience the Culinary Village like a pro? Oh, wow, that's such a great question. <laughs> um, so we have these wine necklaces, which you'll see people, the veteran Culinary Village yep. goers have those. Mm -hmm. So you've got your wine glass held. And then you have your hands free for all of the tastings. And, that's and so smart. Plate. So I would say that's my first tip. My second tip is really great shoes because it has been wet mm -hmm. in Charleston. So put on some closed toed shoes. Um, the ground is still a little squishy. Mm -hmm. um, so make sure that your feet are comfortable because, you know, being mm -hmm. prepared is definitely chic. Yeah. And um, I would just make sure to, to explore the entire park. So mm -hmm. we used more square footage out here than mm -hmm. we did last year. And there are some like little nooks and crannies. Um, street Eats and our beer garden is kind of nestled back in the garden okay. area. 
Um, so there's a lot of stuff to see and you really do need the full amount of time to explore the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And we can't ignore it. Uh, weather forecast tomorrow, might not know what's what's going to be happening with that one, but you've been consulting with a very special guest. Yes, a very special guest. <laughs> Mr. Bill Walsh has, is our like resident uh, meteorologist mm -hmm. here at Charleston Wine and Food and he has been advising us every step of the way. Um, we made a great call per his recommendations on opening night, moving indoors. I think people were very mm -hmm. happy to be dry yeah. and have been on the dance floor and he's been consulting with us. So I think um, for people who have Saturday events, please stay tuned to your emails. Mm -hmm. Look at our social media for the best and the greatest. Um, and we just want to make sure that everybody is safe first mm -hmm. and then second, having fun. And, and Alyssa, we're expecting about 5,000 people per day. Um, and $32 million last year you guys brought into the Charleston economy. How does it feel to have that big of an impact? I think, you know, Charleston Wine and Food is so much more than five days. I mean, we are invested in this community year round. Um, and when people ask me what is Charleston Wine and Food, my answer is always a community mm -hmm. before a festival. Mm -hmm. We produce a festival, um, but it is local business owners, it is chefs, mm -hmm. it is beverage professionals, it's local media, yep. like y'all. Um, it is, um, it's a community-wide endeavor, mm -hmm. and it's an honor to be able to showcase this beautiful city that mm -hmm. we all live in. And we're so excited to be here all morning at the Culinary Village. 12 o'clock, the village will be opening up for VIP, and 1 o'clock for general admission. Alyssa, we're so excited. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thank you for having me. Of course.